In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we have a very special day here for all of us here. First of all, it's the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. It's also, of course, the first day of May, the month dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. At the end of Mass, we'll have special prayers to rededicate ourselves and our nation under Mary's care. But also, as you can tell, we're back home in the church. And so it's a big day for us being back here to record the Masses for you, waiting for you all to come back home here with us. So to begin our Mass, let us acknowledge our sins, prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May mighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting love. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, Graciously grant that, by the example of St. Joseph and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image he created him. Male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food, and to all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing. God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, Lord give, give success, success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, Lord give, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants, and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands.
Just like he did here on this earth, Joseph precedes Mary and our Lord Jesus, making sure that the coast is clear, that they could go forth in safety. For all of Jesus' childhood, the Holy Family did not go anywhere without Joseph being there to first go out and make sure that all was safe, that all was going to be okay. He was the quiet protector, the one who made sure that all was fine. In our lives, and especially in our work, St. Joseph is there to do the exact same thing for us. So thank God for the heroes in our lives, which when you get right down to it, is all of you. Those of you who know how important work is, from teaching those students, even from your home, to providing food, to providing such a thing as a haircut. Work is redeeming because a simple worker, the great Saint Joseph, taught his foster son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to become a worker himself. And through our Lord, all work has been blessed because all work done for the glory of God can be the means of not just getting food on the table, but getting souls back home to heaven. Placing our trust in the God's hands, let's come forth now with our prayers and intercession. Christians, that we may grow stronger in our faith and become powerful witnesses of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Thanksgiving to God for all medical professionals, first responders, and all those who provide for our daily needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all Christian families, that they will honor Jesus as Lord in their hearts and in their homes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who are suffering in any way, but especially those who are trapped in the grip of fear, that God will bring them the peace that they need to carry on, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For God's continual blessings on all our RCIA students, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the grace this week to remain conscious of Jesus' constant presence among us, that he may bless all we think, say, and do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the special intentions for which this Mass is being offered, for the health of Billy Lucero, and for a special intention on behalf of the Lalonde family, and, and for Adam Hansen, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please take a moment to bow your heads and in silence ask God for whatever you need. For all of these intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, to the intercession of St. Joseph, we always have a spirit of thanksgiving for the work that we have to do, but also for the presence of Christ to help us in that work. And we ask all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual children. Blessed be God forever. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of this name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings, which you bring before your majesty in commemoration of St. Joseph. Mercy be grant that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, on the commemoration of St. Joseph, give you fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble prayers as we are glad. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts be pressed by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep and the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, who may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
now for active spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And now on this special day, we have a prayer of renewal to our consecration to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let us now entrust our country and ourselves once again to the Virgin Mother's care. Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, you are the fairest fruit of God's redeeming love. You sing the Father's mercy and accompany us with the Mother's love. In this time of pandemic, we come to you, our sign of sure hope and comfort. Today, we renew the act of consecration and entrustment carried out by those who have gone before us. With the love of a mother and handmaid, embrace this parish, which we entrust and consecrate once again to you, together with ourselves and our families. In a special way, we commend to you those in need of your maternal care. Mary, health of the sick, sign of health and of healing, and of divine hope for the sick, we entrust to you all who are infected with the coronavirus. Mary, Mother of Consolation, who console with the Mother's love all who turn to you, we entrust to you all those who have lost loved ones in the pandemic. Mary, help of Christians, who come to our rescue in every trial, we entrust to your loving protection all caregivers. Mary, Queen and Mother of Mercy, who embrace all those who call upon your help in their distress, we entrust to you all who are suffering in any way from the pandemic. Mary, Seed of Wisdom, who are so wonderfully filled with the light of truth, we entrust to you all who are working to find a cure to this pandemic. Mary, Mother of Good Counsel, you gave yourself wholeheartedly to God's plan for the renewing of all things in Christ. We entrust to you all leaders and all policy makers. Accept with the, benevol with the benevolence of a mother the act of consecration we make today with confidence. Help us to be your son's instruments for the healing and salvation of our country and of the world. And Mary, Mother of the Church, you are enthroned as queen at your son's right hand. We ask your intercession for the needs of our country, that every desire for good may be blessed and strengthened, that faith may be revived and nourished, hope sustained and enlightened, charity awakened and animated. Guide us, we pray, along the path of holiness. Mary, our mother, bring everyone under your protection and trust everyone to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, by Saint Joseph's example, cherishing in your, our hearts the signs of your love, may ever enjoy the fruit of perpetual peace through Christ, our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who call about the world, seeking the ruin of souls.